acids are just kind of strange, but they have a very straightforward nomenclature that actually most students just have to memorize how to do. Acids are, are molecular types of compounds that act sometimes very ionically, <laughs> and they're made up of a hydrogen ion, H positive, with a non-metal or a polyatomic uh, anion uh, attached to it and they are dissolved in aqueous solution and so you'd write the formula and then put AQ after the formula I'll show you what that means if you take a hydrogen ion which is H positive H positive and you react it with chloride ion which is Cl negative H positive Cl negative gets you HCl so that would be hydrogen with chloride and you would get hydro chloric acid. So you have to remember that when hydrogen combines with something that ends in "-ide", it's hydroblankic acid. You have to know that. So chloride, hydrochloric acid. When hydrogen, H positive, bonds to something that ends in "-ate", like for instance, uh, sulfate. Sulfate. Then you're going to get, well now it sounds like you should just get the 8 becomes ic, so sulfic acid, but we kind of take sulfur and phosphorus and extend them a bit, uric or auric, and then they go sulfuric acid. So 8 becomes ic. And then when hydrogen, H positive, bonds to something that ends in ite, like for instance, nitrite, then you get, and by the way, nitrite, that's NO2 negative, so if you had an H positive, you would get, you would get formed HNO2. We put AQ after it, which tells us it's an aqueous solution, is dissolved in water, and that becomes nitrite, nitrite becomes nitrous acid. It becomes ic, it becomes us, and this one here, which is a little bit trickier, it's the it becomes the hydroblank ic acid. 